This is Dr. Phil Chavez. I find it very powerful to walk through a vineyard, a privilege I often have living next to 50 plus wineries. Now this grapevine carries life-giving nourishment to the branch, keeps the branch from drying out and of course becoming kindling for fire. But in any case, from the branches of course come the fruit. These grapes are ready to be picked in about three to four weeks. They're gorgeous. Cabernet Sauvignon. Now Jesus says in John 15, I am the true vine and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch of mine that bears no fruit, he takes away. And every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. Now the vines here are quite thick. Jesus is this vine, the real strength, the source, the bulk of this plant. The branches are actually thin, dependent on the vine. Now the vine dresser is the one who tends these plants and has the whole science in front of him to produce good fruit, tending to the vines year round. But at the right time in the off season, when winter is at hand, he must trim back the branches. Some become so bad they need to be cut away entirely. Others have the potential still to produce fruit. He cuts them back, actually very close to the vine, carefully trimming them. Now the one who does this trimming needs to do so accurately and cuts away most of the branch, leaving only a small visible remnant. So brother, and so it is when God trims you to bear much fruit. His trimming must be deep, must be precise, and must be such that you will hardly appear to be left. Brother, to bear much fruit, except that God has to cut you way back to what may feel like slicing to the very core of you, cutting deep. But that's what it takes to produce much fruit. And as far as you're concerned, God's pruning really shows if you have what it takes. God be with you. We appreciate you viewing our Manly Minutes. Thank you for whatever donation you can offer to make our content possible. Go to themensacademy.org backslash donate. Thank you.